Productions, and today we're going to be doing our first Kerbal Space Program video. <coughs> Anyways, um, so we're going to be making a uh, video on KSP. Um, you guys have no idea, but I just came up all the time. Um, so uh, I had a uh, nice idea of what we can do here. So as you can see, I'm in science mode right now on a new save. Um, and what we're going to be doing is kind of like, oh, I don't know if you've seen, oh, what is it called? Fall of Kerbin or like Collaborative Warfare or anything like that on uh, YouTube. But uh, we're going to be doing that kind of thing, only a bit different. Um, in this case, I have less mods because my computer sucks. Um, but... I've, I've still got a good amount of mods, and I think the ones I have picked out are pretty nice. I have both of the DLCs as well, as you'll see, so uh, that should add some interesting features. Um, with all the robotics, you know, think about it, you can have missile things unfold out of cargo bays and stuff later on, so that would be pretty nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, for right now we're just going to start off the career. So, essentially, the difference of this is this is going to be with, uh, it's going to be with nations. So, for instance, like, you don't have to, there'll be multiple people in different nations. I mean, that's going to really us a lot of not collaborative warfare and stuff. But, uh, we will actually be doing a, uh, Actually, that's exactly what I'm just, Never mind. Don't listen to me. Weird. All right, so <laughs> uh, let's go throw some mystery duo on here. We're just gonna get this started here. Uh, my nation is actually gonna be called the Carpanium Empire or KME. Don't ask me why. <laughs> that's what we're gonna be calling it. Um, and then we will be going against uh, Randolia. Or you should say just against. But now the difference with this is the goal is not to destroy each other. Um, it is to buy more progress faster than the other person. We're going to be trying to get like bases and stations and stuff up on uh, different planets and stuff. And it'll be a race to do that kind of thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, ground warfare can just have a clear attention. Or if you put like, say, tank right next to the Launch site. That'd be fun. Alright, what are we gonna call this thing? R1. Onion. Yes, it's an onion. It's an onion. Uh, um, it'll be a rocket. One. That's just so I can keep track of what my acronyms mean. Essentially, the way the naming is, is we've got the nation name, which that's abbreviated for Carpan Empire, and then R1, Rocket 1, Onion, Onion Module, Self Exploratory. Anyways. And we're just going to use a stock curve because I don't know. Actually, I can't hire other people, so. I just came from playing career mode, so. Money to hire a crew, but it doesn't. So, we're gonna just go ahead and pick up all these guys in here for no reason at all. And we're gonna pick one of them. Um, who's gonna be our head pilot? Debton. <laughs> Debton Kerman. There we go. Um, alright, let's go ahead and launch that. Six and a half hours later. Alright, after an eternity, we have arrived on the launch pad. Um, do not expect a good frame rate out of this game. If I look away from the planet, the frame rate's just fine. Um, my graphics card is not very good, so... Yes, I know, I need to get a new computer. And I probably should have turned down the thrust on this guy, but I didn't, because... Oh, I've made a mistake. Okay, now I thought it would go full battle before I went to the full battle. 
You'll notice in this series, I am extremely good at making rockets flip out of control. I also multiplied the signs we get by a little bit just to make this series a little bit more interesting. Look at my surface speed. It doesn't change, but look at the frame rate. going to let this thing coast down to the ground. There's a booster. Yeah, if I look away from the planet, it goes much, much faster. And Debden Kerman has been, or almost has been, our first astronaut. I'm going to have them EVA on my... Actually, wait a minute. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> Can lead to serious injury and or death. <laughs> there we go. He would have been fine if it would have hit the ground and he was EVA. We're not going that fast. If you didn't know, the optimal landing speed is anything under 9.5, and then usually things won't explode. Keyword is usually things won't explode. Uh, they very well can, and for me, usually do. But, <laughs> um, right, let's go ahead and recover this onion. How do we dice an onion? Because, you know, you can never have too many onions. Two thousand years later. Right. So, as you can see, we got 79 science. 79. Five, actually. Um, Deb Din Kerman is really as another subject. I mean, a uh, very loyal astronaut in our space program. Alright, let's go ahead and research some stuff here. <laughs> so, then our subject, I mean, uh, astronaut can get to uh, have a more impressive death, I mean more impressive uh, space flights on in his her life. We're just going to pick up the rest of that tier since we can. You know, in hindsight I probably should have just gone down and grabbed this guy here, but that's alright. So, as far as mods go, uh, we have quite a bit of mods. We got uh, D Magic Orbital Science, so that should really speed things up. Um, we've got uh, we got both the expansions, like I said, Making History and uh, the Breaking Ground. Sorry, that's my dog scratching his ear in the background. <laughs> um, anyways. Alrighty, now we can upgrade our onion. We're probably gonna call this one like the super onion or something. Um, <laughs> right, so this one here, we're gonna strap some barometers, uh, some thermometers, and this one we're gonna land in the ocean, so I'm gonna put a couple of those guys on there. Um, I know that's terribly not aerodynamic at all, but, you know, I don't really. Right, um, let's go for some of the film T200s. Oh, I make this um, I also have restock and restock, uh, plus, so. 
does help with the uh, mountain and desert science because of how far you actually have to go to get to the desert. Um, it really does help. Many months later. Alrighty. Why is the camera all off? Like, I mean, what? Alright, whatever. Don't care. Well, I don't have an action group on this stuff, dang it. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It's not at all how you do probably turn it, but whatever. It's working. We're floating away from the launch pad. I wonder if I can land the alley here. There. as I can. rocket all right let's just go ahead and this thing down this thing's out of electricity isn't it no it's not oh it, it doesn't even have a uh, reaction well never mind <laughs> all right 200 100. That's counting with carpet. Right. <laughs> um, 
Hopefully this thing is underwater enough. This one maybe. Nope. Alright. Dead bin. That's underwater enough, don't you think? There we go. We need to pick up all these other goodies. I should have put these on action, action groups. That would have made this way more efficient. Um, I'll have to do that next. Uh, watch. Get a good old crew report too. And a log the magnetometer data. Yeah, that's going to extend. That's all right. And let's go ahead and recover this. I think this will actually be the last uh, mission in this video. So I think we're going to do two launches a turn. I think that should be good, especially when we get to... Uh, two hours later. All right, so we got just a bit over 80 science there. So let's go ahead and go back here and research some stuff. Um, we are going to get aviation. No, we're not. We're going to get basic science. And uh, I'm going to look at these other ones just to make sure they don't have anything we need. We're going to need all the stuff, technically. But... Yeah, I haven't really been doing much with the rockets yet, so... Alright, well, I think that'll pretty much do it for uh, this episode of, what should I call this? Oh, Facing Randolia. Something like that. Leave me suggestions in the comments if you think your idea is better. But that's what we're going to call it for now. Um, anyways, this is uh, Kurt Man Productions. I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh.